I'm Terry Schmidt, bringing you practical tips to overcome the most common strategic planning mistakes. Today's topic is no game plan. Imagine that you have just been chosen to coach your favorite sports team in the upcoming championship game. What would you do first? Well, if you're like most great coaches, you'd begin by developing a solid game plan so you can hit the field running and win the game. Strategic planning is no different need a good game plan in order to execute successfully. You might be surprised at how many strategic planning efforts begin without a solid game plan. As a result, they start slowly, bog down along the way, and never reach their end result. No wonder strategic planning has such a bad name. I want to give you five practical tips for your game plan. First, Clarify the key drivers and issues. Why are you doing this plan now? What's happening in your environment? Are you losing market share? Losing customers? Growing too slow? Growing too fast? Not providing the quality of services that are needed? Make sure you also identify some of the critical issues in the minds of the company's leaders so that you can include those in the planning effort. The next point. Define the planning boundaries. How wide is your scope? Are you company-wide? Are you a particular strategic business unit? Are you a department? Are you a team? Or are you an individual? In fact, the same concepts apply to individual career and life planning as they do to organizational strategic planning. So define what's within your scope and what's outside your scope. Next. Identify stakeholders and their roles. Stakeholders are anyone who's involved with, concerned by, or affected by the results. You want to identify how you will involve those people because people support what they help create. Who's going to get involved, why, when, and how. If you do this early, you'll not only get better results, but you'll get the buy-in that's necessary to smooth implementation. Next, choose the methodology. There are a lot of strategic planning models and methods out there, and they're all pretty good. Choose the one that's right for you based on scope of the effort, sophistication of the players, time urgency, organization culture, and so forth. Take a look at several different models and see what fits. I recently volunteered on a task force for the Association of Strategic Planning, and we identified 10 characteristics of effective strategic planning models. The most important one is that it be based on a systems thinking framework. What that means is you begin with an environmental scan. You identify where you want to be at some point in the future, three to five years in the future. You take a look at where you are now. You look at the gap between those two and you fill it with strategies. The final tip, identify milestones and next steps. Break your plan down into specific steps and phases. Put them against a schedule. Assign responsibilities. In developing this schedule, be aware of other things going on in the organization that will affect the timing, such as performance review season or vacation schedule. And also link it to other key processes, such as the budget cycle. If you do these, you'll have a winning game plan. You can hit the field running and succeed in your marketplace. If you find those useful, check out some of the other videos in this series. And meanwhile, think big, plan smart, and act fast to get great results.